Hey what is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today's topic is going to be the Apple EarPod headphones versus the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now me having been an Apple user for the past like two years, I've went and bought myself a pair of Apple headphones, Apple EarPods in fact, the new wireless ones which just came out which are sold out literally everywhere. I had to buy them in Dubai at some like dodgy shop in the middle of the mall. Just to be able to buy them, they were like £8 more than retail in the UK, so they came to £168, but that didn't matter because I've now got them, and once you spent the money, they are, my god, they are worth it, alright? So the AirPods, they're literally these little things right here. And in comparison to the one with the cable, there's really not that much difference. I mean, like, apart from a few little black dots on the side and a cable hanging down, I mean, this, this one here, the wireless one, literally feels lighter than the one with the cable as well. And it doesn't even drag in your ear. So I'm just going to do a quick test of what one feels a bit different. You can definitely tell that that's a little bit bigger and this one you can barely feel in your ear. It fits a little bit more snug. But this this new EarPod, it's not falling out. Like It's completely secure in your ear. I've gone running with these. I've gone to gym. I've done everything possible. I've shaken my head. These aren't falling out at all. But the main reason that you guys are here on this video is do the Air Apple AirPods connect to the Samsung Galaxy S8? So right here we have the Apple AirPods all in here, fully charged, just ready to go. And right here we have my new Samsung S8. And to be able to connect these you're going to have to go into settings. So we're going to go to the top right corner here, open up the tab, go into Bluetooth connections at the top here. And right here where it says Bluetooth, if it's not already turned on, turn it on click on it and it should open up. Now I've already had a Bose Mini Sound Link 2 connected to it and so to pair this device you just hold this down for a few seconds and then actually we'll just scan four devices and see if they pop up. And yep there you go there is Taylor's AirPod which if we connect to them it should just pair instantly and then hopefully it's good to go. Right, so now we are connected and all ready to go on the Samsung. I'm going to put these in my ear and I'm going to play a song and see if the quality is any different, what features you can do with them and what it lacks. I know definitely compared to the iPhone, when you open up the case it will pop up normally saying like how much battery both headphone has and the actual charging case itself. But in all honesty, lacking that feature on this phone, you don't need it at all. You're always going to keep this charged. If you always put it on charge overnight, you're going to be golden in the morning. And they literally last around about two to three days without even having to charge them. So that's one of the benefits of this. And you don't exactly need that feature on the Samsung. So I'm just going to put them in here. I know people are going to say, oh, they look really stupid. They look like toothbrushes, like, you know, the Colgate earpiece, the earpiece? You know, the Colgate toothbrush heads you get to put on your electric toothbrush. That's apparently what they look like sticking out your ear, which I don't disagree with, but at the end of the day, people look at you like you're an idiot, but they have a cable hanging down from them and you're just like wireless, you can shake your head and it's all fine, like they don't even fall out at all, they're perfect. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to open up Spotify, I know you guys can't really see this so I'm just going to hold the phone in an awkward way. We're going to, uh, ooh, what song should we play? We're just going to play the new Feel song which has Calvin Harris and all that in it. It's playing already, it's sounding good, let's turn it up, full volume. I'm not going to lie, they work, they definitely work, they definitely do work on this phone and I can't really tell any difference towards the iPhone either. We're just going to test right now the tap feature. Okay there you go, the tap feature works on the left ear, let's do the right one to unpause it. And it just unpauses like that, as you can tell, so that's pretty good. Uh, another feature that we need to test is when you take them out, Usually it just pauses the music so then you can like the other one stops because normally you take your headphone out to be able to listen to someone So it will stop both headphones and you'd have to take them both out at the same time which you could lose one in the meantime So we're gonna test that Okay, no, it's still playing Yeah, the sensors on this don't work like they do with the iPhone normally when you take it out It senses is in your ear or not in your ear so it'll stop playing so pretty much if I was to hold these next door to the microphone you should still be able to hear it which in my opinion is a little bit better because I hate having to take one out and like the music stops so I guess in a way that's an advantage 
And then finally, obviously, if you want to disconnect these headphones from your device, you literally just swipe down, you go to Bluetooth, and you can literally just turn the Bluetooth feature off, and then that's your headphones disconnected. They will no longer be taking power from the headphone, and you can charge them fine. And all of your audio will come back through your phone or device, whichever you're using it from. But if you have any questions regarding the Apple AirPods, I do reply to comments, so if you need any help or you need any questions being answered, drop it down below. If I missed anything, let me know and I'll just update the description. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smack that like button. Share it with your friends to prove them wrong that these do work with the Samsung. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, adios.